Welcome to Devices Help and Support. Your ultimate destination for all things related to the device's setup, troubleshooting and optimizing your tech experiences. Today in this video we will discuss about the Tplink TL WR740N router setup process. With the help of this guide we will walk through the easy and short steps that help to complete the setup process and provide the seamless connectivity all of your workstation. Setting up a TP-Link TL WR740N router involves connecting the hardware, accessing the router's web interface, and configuring the settings. So don't miss out this video. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the TP-Link TL WR740N router box, you'll find the router itself, a power adapter, an ethernet cable, and a quick installation guide. The package also typically includes a resource CD with documentation and setup software. So let's start the setup process. Plug the power adapter into the router and then into an electrical outlet. Internet, connect the ethernet cable from your modem to the router's one port, usually colored blue. PC connection, optional you can connect your computer to one of the router's LAN ports, usually yellow, using another ethernet cable. Alternatively, you can connect via Wi-Fi. Simply connect the router to your computer with an ethernet cable. Via Wi-Fi, the default Wi-Fi network name, SSID, should be TP-Link underscore XXXXXX where XXXXXX is part of the router's MAC address. The default Wi-Fi password is usually printed on a label on the router. Open a web browser and enter tplinkrepeater.net or the extender's default IP address, e.g., 192.168.0.254, in the address bar. The default username and password are both admin enter these credentials to log in. After logging in, the quick setup wizard should start automatically. Follow the on-screen instructions. Set up internet connection, connection type, choose the type of internet connection your ISP provides, e.g., dynamic IP, static IP, PPPoE. Configure settings, enter the necessary details provided by your ISP, e.g., username and password for PPPoE. Change the Wi-Fi network name to something you prefer. Security. Set the wireless security mode to WPA slash WPA2 and choose a strong password. Save settings. Once everything is configured, save your settings. Now your setup process is complete. I hope this video will prove helpful for you. In case you face any type of difficulty, you are free to contact our professional experts at 1-323-507-3713. Our experts team will always guide you. Thank you so much to watching our video. And lastly don't forget to like share and subscribe our your YouTube channel devices help and support. Stay tuned for more updates.